Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Former DRC Electoral Commissioner, Colonel Nanga, is coming out to form a Congo River Alliance as the launch is being done in Nairobi, Serena Hotel. The question that has come on board, why is it the former DRC Electoral Commissioner Colonel Nanga is coming out to launch so-called the Congo River Alliance. Are this something that is bringing a lot of war in between the embassies as the DRC of Congo that the president is coming out to recall the ambassador in Kenya? In other words, those who do not understand to recall, ni kwamba ameitwa arudi nyumbani, hakuna kazi tena. Why? Because of the act of the former DRC electoral commissioner, Colonel Nanga, who came out just the other day, launching the Congo River Alliance. I want you to listen to whatever the DRC, a former DRC electoral commissioner, Colonel Naga, is coming out as the same time is coming out to denounce the president Shikedi's regime and is declaring that upcoming election that is going to be conducted date 20th that is going to be unfair. Election is going to be unfair. I want you to watch the video. Then after that, I want us to understand the kind of fight that is emerging in between the embassy of DRC of Congo and also the embassy of the Republic of Kenya, as there are a lot of claims where there's a threat in between the, the working formula or working agreement in between the DRC and Kenya. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a visitor for the first time and you have not subscribed to this channel, please do me a favor, ensure you subscribe to this channel, you like this video, you give your opinion at the comment section below, and don't forget to share this video. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much because of the great work that you're doing to maintain supporting this channel. If it was not you, we could have not reached this milestone that we are in. Watch whatever the former DRC electoral commissioner, Colonel Nanga, is coming out to say. To the Congolese people, to our fellow Africans, and to the international community, call for national unity, for the stability of the Democratic Republic of Congo driven by the desire to save our country, our nation in danger, and to restore the dignity of the people of Congo as the states, driven by the desire, moved by the will to live together in DRC, to unite, to achieve national cohesion, and to finally end insecurity, widespread killing and massacre of citizens, genocide ideology driven by negative forces aligned to the regime in Kinshasa, which has resulted in internal displacement of people and turning of citizens in refugees, particularly in the eastern part of Congo. Convinced that the responsibility to save the state as well as the well-being of the DRC depend only on the Congolese themselves and not and none other. Noting that insecurity and instability as a result of weakening, if not the absence of this, the state, has lasted for more than three decades without any lasting solution. Considering the deficit of governance in national institutions, talking in Kinshasa, and their inability to restore the authority of the state throughout the whole territory and to reassure our citizens. Whereas, it's unfortunately established 
that the regime of Chisekedi has opted for a mode of government characterized by tribalism and as well as corruption, investment of the fund or public fund, dispossession of public and private property, discrimination, lie, tribalism, witch hand, the exploitation of public service and institution, tribalization and manipulation of justice, arbitrary arrest, assassinations, economic, economic crimes, linguistic discrimination and exclusion, division and impoverishment of population. Given that Kinshasa regime has deliberate, uh, has chosen to outsource national security by using war as a business, undermining the armed forces of the Democratic Republic of Congo for the benefit for the benefits of foreign mercenaries and other negative forces which prey upon the eastern part of the country, sowing death and desolation. Given that the government of DRC violates the constitution, the laws of the Republic, and all international treaties are ceded by our country. Being all witnesses to the hijacking of the electoral process at all levels by the same government, and its decision to, its decision to, carry, out, to carry out an electoral coup based ourselves on Article 64 of our Constitution, we launch on this day. Now, after watching the DRC Electoral Commissioner, the former DRC Electoral Commissioner, Mr. Cornes, Colonel Nanga, is giving us a lot of attention as I want you to understand something here. Kenya supports effort for stabilization of DRC Congo. And President Felix Chikedi is aware of this. That Kenya is in the effort and mission for stabilization of DRC Congo as president, who is now the current president before the election that is going to happen the 20th of this December, is aware of that mission. We have, a, we, have a, we have KDF soldiers serving UN peace mission in Congo. And just recently, our troops serving in EACRF left following Chikedi's issues with Kagame, who is the president of Rwanda. At the same time, Uhuru Kenyatta is the chair of the Nairobi peace process that is going to stabilize the peace in Congo. This suspicion of linking Kenya to the stabilization mission should be treated with contempt as, of course, the several leaders are coming out to say. But at the same time, we are seeing that the suspicion of linking Kenya to the stabilization mission should be treated with contempt is that we must ask also the question, why is it the former electoral commissioner of DRC, Colonel Nanga, is coming out to launch the River Congo Alliance in the Republic of Kenya and something was in Serena Hotel, Nairobi County. Then we are having the president, who is the former president Uhuru Mege Kenyatta, who is also the chairperson of this committee who is trying to stabilize the peace in Congo. At the same time, there is a kind of pull and push in between the president of Rwanda and the president of Congo, that is Chikedi, who even made Kenya Defense Forces soldiers serving under UN peace and EACRF to left Congo because of rubbing shoulders in between the president, the current president of Congo, Shikedi, and also the president of Rwanda, Paul Kagame. 
as I've seen many individuals coming out to attack the Paul Kagame in a mission of creating a kind of violence and destabilization in Congo, as Congo is just approaching election a uh, date 20th of the, this December. As the opposition leader of Congo finalized their campaign today, and the current president himself finalized his campaign today, as we are head, uh, the Congo is heading to the next general election, 20th of this December, this action of the former DRC electoral commissioner, Colonel Nanga, is bringing a lot of conversation in between certain individuals, as also the embassy of Congo in the Republic of Kenya is being destabilized, as the president of Congo is recalling the ambassador, as now Kenya does not have the ambassador from Congo in Kenya. As there is a kind of fight in between um, the working formula in between the president Shikedi and the Republic of Kenya. Because, again, as we can recall, the KDF has already left Congo because of the rubbing shoulders in between uh, the president, the current president of Congo and Rwanda. So when you look at this kind of um, uh, foreign policies, I want to say is like human relations. Only people know less about each other. But at the same time, some African countries are the reason why Congo has no peace. Because they always uh, manipulate certain issues left, right, center. So that is whatever is happening. As there is a kind of embassy threat and embassy attack. As also the military in between... Uh, let me say the military that was sent to Congo to put peace in, uh, in Congo from Kenya had already withdrawn. And what you saw with Museveni, where the, the, uh, the, 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 their military was withdrawn, the same to Paul Kagame. So when you look at this kind of scenario, there's a kind of uh, suspicion that is happening in between these presidents. But again, as our country should not be involved in this suspicion, is the, the question that we are asking, what is happening in our country as the former electoral commissioner, Colonel Nanga, is coming out to have his press briefing and again launching his political party here, or rather the River Congo Alliance? What does it mean? For example, today William Ruto to go and declare or launch his party in Tanzania, which for me it is not bad, maybe they're having their meetings, but what you saw and you listened to, it is a clear indication there is a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think?